Hello! Welcome to the Mind Logic server. Last episode we were doing a bit of caving. I did actually come across the cave I was looking for. Well, I think. We are at a nice lower level. Clearly there's something going on somewhere. But yeah, there's diamonds. Yeah, this seems really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, oh, and there's a spawner of some kind. Zombie. Ooh, uh. Cool. But anyway, uh, I was going to try to make it back to the surface. What have we got? Saddle. We are pretty stocked up here. I should probably put some stuff away, maybe? Hey, bat. Oh, yeah, lots of room in there. Let's get rid of a stack of iron. Stack of that. Some gravel. Some bones. Stack of rail. All right. And I will probably collect this mossy as well. Right after I do that. Alright, we got the mossy. I do want to collect all this other stuff too, though. Here's some lava. Get all these diamonds. We got here four, five, six, seven, maybe. Eight. Very nice. Yeah, there's definitely a spider spawner around here too, I think. Maybe above us. Yeah, we're not going to spend too much time in the caves. I'm, we'll try to get our way out. Are we... Where are we? We are in the ocean, unfortunately. That means I can't just kind of dig up. Well, I can, but... Okay, there's two more diamonds. Nope. And more. And we might dig into where these spiders are. Or not. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of want to continue to explore this area. She just sounds like one spider. So maybe not. Unless it's up here. Oh no, that sounds like more than one spider. What's in here? Nothing. Where are you guys? Have I been up here? It looks like I've been up there. Okay, that's a dead end. Lock that off. And this is not a dead end. Is it somewhere we've been? We have been here, and then we went up. And then I went down? I don't know what I did. Doesn't look like I went anywhere trying to remember. This is like days and days later. Okay, that is explored, so I'm just going to try to close this up, I guess. So that I don't get lost, because I get lost very easily. And this looks like it's going to dead end. It does. Uh, it doesn't dead end up there, but it just comes through right here. And dead ends. Okay. So this is all dead ends. So we could close this up. And then it's just through here. I guess. No, now I'm already somewhere different. Or are we? No, okay, we're right here. Alright. Well, don't know where the spiders are. There they are. Maybe. Well, that torch is going bye-bye. Could be behind here. Anything? Anything? Darkness. Okay. I want to get out. I do, I do. But I also want to be able to find my way back down here again. Uh, what's up here? Is this just lead it back up to this part? It does. So that's cool. Alright, well, let's just backtrack, I guess, if I can figure out where I came from. Where does this go? comes back to this nice flooded area. 
This has a torch on the left. Okay, that's what I just did. Yeah, this is where I came down. We could just float all or or swim all the way up to the surface. And maybe we'll just make note of where we are. And we can come back. Um, let me type deep mine shaft. And we'll take a screenshot. There we go. Then we can come back here. All right, let's head up to the surface. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, oh, I'm not in the water. Okay. If we don't drown, see how far off from our island we are. Are we going to make it? We're going to make it. Ta-da! Okay, not too bad. Well, we can refine that. Find that again. Let's get back over there. All right, so I've been told that something may have happened to this island. Something by the... That's that ladder that we saw in the last episode, I do believe. Someone by the name of Dan was here. Dan could not be trusted. Now, he's gone around, I think, and he's pranked everybody. So he says, doing his little pranksgiving that he mentioned, if you've seen his video. So he was collecting an obscene amount of eggs. And so far I don't see any chickens or anything, which is what I was expecting to see, is just massive amounts of chickens. But I don't see them. Hey, Pooch. So I don't know what this prank is. As I don't see anything. Oh, let's go to bed. Yeah, I was planning on showing you guys this prank. However... Is that a... What is that? Is that a pig up there? How do you get up there? Seriously, how did that pig get up there? Well, I guess we'll look around some more. I mean, my place isn't that big. There's pretty much just this, which I guess we could harvest. My farms, the pigs. I guess we could go to the nether, maybe. See if it's in the nether that we've been pranked. Or maybe the prank is there is no prank at all. I did tell him that here in Canada, we already had our Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Now our pigs look fine. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just put the sugar cane in there. Alright, well, maybe we'll head to the nether. Take a look there. Unless he did something with, like, dispensers that are going to shoot out eggs somewhere but from here all looks well ah yeah I don't see anything of well let's take the let's take a ride let's take a ride on the railroad we can see where there's fire. Is this new? This whole shake it thing with the minecarts? I don't remember this. Happens in single player too. Well, I don't see anything. I think Dan was lying. Or it's hidden, I guess, maybe. Well, I'm going to head back anyway. Ooh. Alright, well, maybe we'll take a better look here on the island. I'm going to check my base again. 
it is something done with dispensers. Oh, maybe we can see it now that it's not loaded. Cheaty cheaty. Hey, it's a dark cave anyway. Oops. Let's see where I've been. Can't tell if I've been over there. I don't think I've been that way. Been down there though. All right. Well. Hmm. So Dan, where's this so-called prank at? Just stone. Hmm. I guess he just jumped up. All right, mystery pig. I guess you could have got up. I guess that's fine. Nice if the island loaded. Load. Anything? 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 I don't see anything at all. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Like, unless he's dug around. Things are gonna jump out of the walls. It's the prank to make me destroy my own base. What's this? <gasps> That's our first diamond, boys and girls. <laughs> I didn't hide it very well, but um, I think we can rename it too. For five levels, yes, sir. Morillabus's first diamonds. That's not how you spell diamonds. Ta-da! And I'll probably rehide it now since I'm pretty sure Dan will come and do something to it. Can't trust that guy. Can't trust that guy. All right. Well, I don't know. Did he replace all of our stuff with eggs? No. Where's the prank? Where's the prank? All right, we're here at Core's place again, to-do list. Make a to-do list. Ah, oh. list. Check. There we go. You're one item ahead already. Okay, we are here to go back to the ice machine. I've been told that it is broken again. <laughs> Apparently I made this thing a little too fragile. Let's go check it out. Um, said he marked it out for me. On what broke. If it would load. That's interesting. Is that an Enderman that did that? Oh, there's wool. Interesting. <laughs> or this is a colorized version. I modernized your farm. Enjoy crisp and full color HD. This is where I had a leak. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Venice, very colorful. Cool, cool. All right, let's go fix the wiring. Welcome to Morilla Butts. Technicolor ice machine. Leader Grev. Okay, so it's kind of a prank slash I broke your machine. Uh, so that shovel. Okay, let's take a look. Here is the service entrance. At least that's where I... Okay. Green wool. Is that where he said he broke... Oh, or maybe blue wool. Uh, let's check it out. Let's go through it all. Okay, it looks like something is missing right here. That should go all the way under. I... Okay, I was going to say, I put everything in my ender chest. Did I actually 
bring an ender chest, but I think there's one up there anyway. Let's get some redstone. Um, let's see here. What is... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I tried to put it back together, I see. There we go. And the input should be... Here, there should be another repeater. So this should be the input from the button. At least it was supposed to be. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. The input from the button should come here, which it does. And it goes there, so it should come here and split. It should go that way to turn the T flip-flop. And it should also scoot under here to go through here. Um, I don't know if any of the timings have been messed with. I don't remember what they have to be. That one should be just two. That should be two. Everything else looks okay. And then let's see up here if there was something wrong. This powers the upper piston row. Uh, I don't think anything broke. That's probably where the water fell down or something. Flowed down and went in the hole, washed away all the redstone in between. Okay, so this is where the pulse comes from. Um, in terms of making it spam proof, I can show you what I mean. Let's go back up top. That should be functional again. I don't know if we can easily make it spam proof without adding in another like RS Norlatch or something. Alright, let's see here. Okay, that's flood mode. Now everything should go back up. And then if we hit it again, just the center one should go down. No, okay, something's wrong. Let's see here. Um, is this thing triggering properly? Oh no, that is supposed to be redstone dust. It just isn't supposed to be connected. Right. There we go. Uh, one more try. So we weren't finding the T flip flop. That was the problem right there. Now we are, and they went right back up. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. All right, we should be in the secondary mode. Well, we're not. Is this getting its... Oh, okay, this is different as well. Because that should turn off the torch. There we go. And this should be a torch as well, which it was. I just got rid of it. Okay, let's try that. That should do it. This time, I'm sure. Sort of. All right, I'll go to... Should lower those, and they should stay down. The only problem is... Yeah. <laughs> this is no longer um, that durable. But it looks, it looks very cool. And colorful. Watch where you're pointing your shovel. Excellent. Ta-da! Okay. Well, I think it's... Oh, I believe it's working again. Very nice. A little too colorful for my liking, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> Ta-da! And we'll get rid of that. There you go. Oh, I could use a piece of wool there now. Oh, there's all the blocks. Anyway, that should do it. And now it should flood. Should. Looks like some water sources were destroyed under there, though. Let's go check that out. Oh, it just turned to ice. 
probably while he's working on it or swapping them out. Let's just take care of that. And what else is there? Am I missing one? How did I... Where'd it go? How do I have one less than I started with? Or is it in the water? No, oh, there we go. Let's cover that up quickly. And is there any more? Nope. But there will be in a second. Uh, I don't know. I'll try to do it as random as I can. Nope, that's ice. And there we go. So I don't know if he expects me to fix this, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right. Now there's just something missing there. You can see we're not getting water down. Nothing's easy. There it is. Can't have them next to each other. Oh, uh, sure we can. All right, try this again. Yoink. And yoink. There we go. Fixed. Again. Stop. Stop breaking my ice machine, guys. Stop it. Actually, this is your ice machine. Stop breaking your ice machine. <laughs> I'm going to have my own. I don't care about this one. Whee. All right. Um, yeah, let's see if we can look at how spammable it is. So if we sit here and do that, do that. It won't break. It'll just be annoying. Uh, it should break. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I don't think we have to do anything. Bing! And in terms of flooding, not much to be done. Other than maybe putting signs and ladders everywhere to prevent water from going over top of the wiring. And I could create a whole room around this thing. Uh, I did bring some blocks. So maybe we can do something. Everybody's trying to break the ice machine. <laughs> I was about to... Uh, <laughs> I was going to plug that up because the zombie just came down there too. <laughs> and I was like, nah. It'll be alright. But really? No. No, it won't be alright. You bastards. Alright. Whoops. Well, I'm just trying to get up here. Okay. Oh, he did blow up some redstone. Very little. Have to do better than that, Creeper. Alright. Just trying to make this a little safer. I'm going to close in all the redstone here. I mean, it's still possible to flood it if you remove all these blocks, of course, but... Um... Yeah. Alright, I think it's mostly <laughs> flood proof. Uh, maybe not 100%. But <laughs> it shouldn't flood. Uh, we can get rid of all this, baby. Could do that. Oh, now I'm stuck down here again. Yeah, this isn't needed. 
There we go. And yeah, if water does fall down here, it shouldn't be able to wash away anything. It might be able to wash away some of the stuff up top, but for the most part, this thing should be flood proof. <laughs> if there's any more renovations to take place. Oops, I think I just got rid of a sign. Don't know what that sign was doing. Oh, I think it was up there. That's okay. All right. And yeah, water can fall along the side. Basically, there's always somewhere for the water to go other than on top of redstone. So there shouldn't be a way for it to flow. If it does land here, it could go this way and wash out this piece of redstone and maybe that one. But that's about it. So I'll consider that fixed. And then up here, yeah, it's mostly boxed in. So I think we're okay. And yeah. And I put a few, some signs up there too if water falls through again. But anyway, I think that's about it. I think we'll take off. I don't think I need to bring anything. I'll take the stone with me, leave the flint, leave the gravel, anything else worth taking, we got some seeds, leave that for someone in case they starve down here or something, take my torches, string we should need, and hopefully I have enough dirt to cover in this hole again. All right. Problem solved. Very nice, Lita Grev. Very nice. Very colorful. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think we'll call it quits here. Oh, we've been spotted. Yeah, we'll call it quits here. And we'll see you next time.